With less than two weeks before the deadline to raise the debt ceiling, President Joe Biden heads to Michigan, rallying for support for his twin economic packages. Both are stalled because of sharp divisions within his own party over size and scope. Chris Wendt reports. With his domestic agenda tied up in Congress, President Joe Biden traveled to Michigan Tuesday, hoping to drum up support. These bills are about competitiveness versus complacency. They're about opportunity versus decay. They're about leading the world or continue to let the world pass us by, which is literally happening. The president's team arguing that his Build Back Better plan, which includes a trillion dollar infrastructure package, as well as a larger 3.5 trillion bill to expand the social safety net, are essential to the country's economic growth. He's going to have his sleeves rolled up and he'll be very engaged moving forward. This comes as the deadline to raise the debt ceiling to avoid defaulting is less than two weeks away. If Congress doesn't act, Treasury officials warn there could be catastrophic consequences for the U.S. economy. Democrats say Congress should vote on a bipartisan basis to pay for previous spending for which both parties agreed to. But Republicans aren't budging. We gave them a roadmap and three months notice. I suggest that our colleagues get moving. With so much at stake, some say it's more important than ever for Congress to deliver. We ought to focus on children, focus on taking care of our seniors, focus on getting this country back on track, and stop looking at these top line numbers. In Washington, I'm Chris Wynn reporting.